help. Um, Elizabeth Raish and Sue Wright don't mind that I'm kind of going to combine their question. Um, Sue Wright's point is that education is vital, but how can we get the conversation going in the UK media to educate the general public? And Elizabeth's question is, is it not possible to get the UK to announce that it will go as an observer um, to one MSP, um, as Norway and Germany have done? And the reason combining them is if the UK government were to go to one MSP, it would be all over the newspapers. Um, and the argument for signing M M one M uh, the TPNW, sorry, uh, would be much more out there for people to debate. So how do you feel about, about those questions? Yeah, I think they're both very, very important. I mean, we really thought that... Um, that the Guardian, you know, we were in conversation with the Guardian. But the the, the uh, report was initially meant to be um, launched on the 10th of January during the NPT review conference, and we before it got uh, postponed. And we really thought that um, uh, we would get an exclusive. And um, uh, the Guardian seemed very interested. One of their key journalists, based in Washington, who done that. Um, very interesting article on uh, on nuclear decision making and how scary it is, you know the fifteen minutes um, to fire article uh, Julian Borgia. We really had hopes that we were going to get an ex uh, exclusive, and it was quite late on Thursday when um, we were basically told that because of Ukraine and Boris, you know, because of those two things really were well, mainly Ukraine for the for the for the people doing the the work on on international relations uh, in in London and in Washington, uh, this you know basically the editors weren't going to do it, and this goes to the the basic issue. It is so hard to get media, and that's part of why I really draw attention. I include the media in the the MIBAs, the military industrial. Um, you know, media, bureaucratic, bureaucratic, academic, you know, these, it is an establishment and you get preferment if you're willing to call nuclear weapons the deterrent. You get prefer, preferment, you know, all the theories, I've, you know, I go into it in detail in, in the report, so I won't, I won't hear and I'm going to do, be doing some more work and more research on that now that I've got this report out. But this is this is a real problem, and in some cases we just have to depend on on that Scottish media actually does cover these things. But then the Westminster, you know, south of the border media, often does not pick up on the stuff on the media covered by S Scotland. So what can we do? I can only say we have to keep trying on all levels. But local media is something not to forget. So every time you do an action, and I hope, you know. The treaties entered into force, but let's face it, it's still there. And quite a lot of you were doing actions on Baniversary on Saturday. I think we need to get better. Now that, particularly now my report's out, it's actually, and it's going to be printed, and get it to your MPs and get local media to see you hand them a copy of the treaty. By the way, there's a copy of the treaty in the report. So, you, you know, that's, that's, you know, in the UN blue at the end of the report. You know, give, hold a meeting with your MP, give them my report. It's got a great cover that'll look good and make that into local media coverage. Do it with a group, group of you, maybe on the, you know, it, whenever you want, actually, but if you do a city's appeal, if you haven't already done one, do it then, or do it um, for the meeting of states parties, particularly if it happens in in March. Uh, you know, and you can do it more than more than once too. So, if you get things into local media, actually, more people read local media than read the Guardian or the Times or the Telegraph. It's just that they're diverse everywhere. So that's a, something for everybody to be, be doing and to keep doing. Let your media know when you, 
uh, divest from nuclear weapons or, 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 you know, you take a campaign to get your union or your council to divest, get a little media hit, get it into union publications, get it into, you know, all of those things. We have to be much more creative because the national media is too tied into the way that nuclear weapons are presented as, un, or, you know, really as essential uh, in, in, in UK politics. And, and they're not, and, and you don't have to. Um, uh, and then the other question was about the UK to go as an observer. Yeah, I think this is really, really important. And I know the CND, and I think we should also in, in Scottish CND, be putting as much pressure as possible uh, for the UK to, to go as an observer. But I think they probably won't. We'll all get letters back saying that they won't. But make sure that your members of parliament go, members of the Scottish parliament and your Scottish members of the Westminster parliament. And for those of you, because I know there are quite a few people joining this who aren't from Scotland, make sure your MPs are going to that. You know, get Keir Starmer there. You know, get Caroline Lucas there. Get uh, who's the the Lib Dem guy? Ed Ed something. <laughs> you know, get Ed Davy. Ed Davy, thank you very much. <laughs> you know, or get your local MPs to go because we are hoping if unless the the meeting of states parties goes hybrid, which is a possibility, we're keeping our fingers crossed it won't happen, but it may be that they hold only the states part of it in person and that no civil society and therefore no members of parliament can go. But as the plans are currently there, there are events being organized for the members of parliament, being organized by the Austrian parliamentarians. So again, get your MPs there and then have a smiley face of you, you and your local group holding the report with its, you know, title on it saying nuclear weapons are banned. <laughs> what does this mean for Britain? You know, cause it's, it's all, all in writing. I did, we decided to put no missiles, no, 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 no submarines on the cover, just that stark message on the cover. So that was that question, I think, as best as I could answer it. Thank you very much. 